Hey everybody, this is Sahan from Details Pro and this is the first video in a series of new videos that I'll be making. This is Details Pro Basics. So I'm gonna give you a tour of the latest version of Details Pro. If it's your first time, this is a fantastic place to start. Uh, I'm just gonna explain everything to you, show you where things are and help you get started with your first designs. So this is the home page in Details Pro. And what you see when you open the, the app up is first you see any files that you might have. So that's gonna be up here in this recents row. So these are all individual designs that I've made that I've edited recently. Um, directly below that, you'll see a new from template section. So when you wanna create a file in Details Pro, you either tap on this plus up here or you can tap any of these templates and it will instantly create a new design for you like that. So for example, I have scrolling iPhone page. If I tap on that, I immediately have a new file. It's editable. I can start going to town and you'll see it'll be back up there in my recents. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one for now. So below the new from template section, you'll see a row that is called community. So this is super cool. These are designs that other designers have made and they've shared them um, through their uh, profile on the Details Pro community feature. So basically you can tap any one of these. A lot of them come from the Details Pro team. Um, and if you tap on this one, for example, you'll see a bigger thumbnail, you'll see a description and you can download this file. So. If you see something that you like, that you think would be a really great starting point, like for example, here's a simple design with a table and some images, you can download that file. And then when you open it up, you've got this amazing starting point. You can look at how it was made, you know, oh, like what kind of font does that use? Or how does this get that sort of shadow? You can really kind of like take whatever you want out of it. You could even tap on one of the elements and I'll show you, I'll get to this in a second, but you could even copy it and paste it somewhere else. Uh, but again, you'll see that new file is right up there at the beginning of our recents. So I'll go ahead and delete that again as well. So cool, when you, uh, when you do delete files, by the way, they go to a recently deleted section over here. So continuing to scroll down the homepage, we've then got a row of getting started videos, which this video will be joining. So. Um, check back here all the time. I'm always making new videos and you'll see things like how to design something specifically or how to make use of new features. And then a little bit further down on the homepage, there are some quick actions. And then there's also a message about whether or not you have upgraded Details Pro. So what is the upgrade about? Um, the app is free. There's just a limit of only having five files if you're using it for free. So you can delete files and keep making new ones. So if you're someone who just wants to play around and wants to learn, that should be totally more than enough because you know, you'll design a few things, come back later. You can always get rid of stuff that you don't need. You also won't have access to some of the advanced elements like maps. So if you do upgrade, you get to have unlimited files, which is awesome because you can see like, you know, a lot of people start to have a lot of files in their, their details pro. And then also you can keep downloading other community stuff and you can uh, use the map element, which is uh, pretty cool. So that's this part of the home page. On the left side over here, you've got the home section, which is called Design Studio. You've got the Designs tab, which shows you all of your files. You can make folders in Details Pro to organize things. So I've got a folder called Music Stuff and New Ideas, and I can click to create a new one. You've got your Recently Deleted, which I have a bunch. And then down here, there's a few things. There's a link to your profile. So this is my Details Pro profile. Um, this is where I can actually share files to the community. And actually a lot of these two, um, or all of them, do get a link on the internet. So you can also open them in Safari and tweet them and share them that way. So that's how you get to that. Community is that templates area. There is an SF Symbols browser. So this is pretty cool. This is the uh, all the SF symbols that Apple provides. You can search in here by their categories. You can also look for specific symbols, like if you search, you know, delete. You'll see all of the symbols that have anything to do with deletion, um, and you can copy their name to use them if you're using them in Xcode, 
or um, the same search feature exists when you're just designing and you want to find symbols. So that's over here where it says SF symbols. And then finally, there's a link to get to our blog where we post a lot of new stuff. So that has been a tour of the homepage, basically in this whole, you know, the starting area. Now I'm going to give you a quick intro to what actually designing looks like. So I'm going to open up an existing file that I was working on, which is this one. So when you open a design in Details Pro, you see on the left side, a list of the elements. So you can see here, I was trying to recreate the AirPods Max, one of those cool marketing graphics. And on the left side here, you can sort of see, uh, I'm gonna go into more detail in a future video, but you can kind of see the, the elements that put this together. There's a picture and there's a rounded rectangle and there's some text. So basically when you're designing in Details Pro, all the time you're doing a bunch of stuff over here. And then as you do it over here, you see the preview over here. And for example, if you want to change the text, you know, like this is the same thing over and over again, you do a lot of that editing on the right. So you select an element, you see the, the tools for it on the right, and you're seeing the preview of your design in the middle. So I can come over here and I can go, you know, this actually should say, hey, YouTube. And maybe I'm going to bring the opacity up a little bit here. It's a little low. Finally, this vertical stack isn't really aligned right. There you go, I'm gonna left align it. So you can see that's, those are the main elements. There's the left, there's the right, there's the middle. Um, other things that you can do here, you can rename your file. So if this file doesn't have a name, I can go ahead and tap up here and I'm gonna write AirPods Max Graphic. So really easy to do. You also have some options here along the right, which are for changing the preview. So a lot of this stuff, this gets a little more advanced too. We'll talk more about this, but you can do things like show the boundaries or switch to dark mode. Um, you can also go into a full screen preview. So that's sort of like preview stuff. These two buttons just hide and show the sidebars. Um, that, you know, those two are undo, redo. And then if you go into here, you can rename it, you can actually add notes, you can share and export this design, and you can get the, uh, the code of this. So what is this whole code thing? Basically, when you design in Details Pro and you do all this stuff, you're really just making SwiftUI designs. And SwiftUI being Apple's new interface framework for designing for Apple products, um, it means that you know, SwiftUI is really code. So what Details Pro lets you do is it lets you design visually. And then when you're done, you can just send the code directly to a developer, or if you are a developer yourself, you can just throw this into Xcode. Um, and there's really, there's no sort of magic happening here because it's pretty one-to-one. -one. You know, you design things in SwiftUI and you just get the code. So um, for the most part, as you, as you do design, everything you make should be really usable. So that's been a quick tour of Details Pro and looking into the designs. Uh, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna make videos showing you walkthroughs for each of the different kinds of elements. And I'm also gonna make videos talking about how to get the most out of all the different SwiftUI modifiers. So stay tuned, thank you for watching.